the graphics digitizing toolbar is new to Embroidery Studio E4. Designed for simplicity and ease of use, the toolbar will be familiar to people with a graphic background. Found in the window menu in the toolbars folder. The toolbar should be used in conjunction with the outline and fill toolbars. So let's open all three by selecting and then left clicking on the work area. In designing, there are two open shape tools, one column tool, five closed shape tools, an angle tool, and a hole and applique tool. The open shape tools can only be an outline with its various properties. Note, the fill toolbar is greyed out when either of the open shape tools are selected. A closed shape can be an outline or a fill. Selecting a closed shape tool activates the fill toolbar as well as the outline toolbar. So let's take a look at each in turn. First, the open shape tool. You have a choice to select the stitch type you want, or you can create the shape and then select your stitch type after. Notice the properties change as I change each stitch type. Left clicking creates straight lines and corners. Right clicks create curves. For a moment, let's move forward to the other open shape tool, the freehand open shape. Now this is designed for a drawing tablet, but can be used with a mouse. And the only difference between this tool and the outline tool is how to apply it. With a mouse, left click, hold down and drag to get a beautiful flowing line of stitches. Notice the smoothing tool that appears when you select the tool. By activating the target guide and nominating the distance and number of rings, the cursor becomes a guide to follow approximately a set distance from another object. The closed shape tool creates closed areas. To make the shape, click around the perimeter, left clicking for angles and right clicking for curves. This tool is self-closing and does not require the last click to sit on the first. In fact, it's recommended that you allow the shape to close itself by hitting enter before you reach the starting point. The column tool creates beautiful columns of stitching that vary in width. The distance between each click on either side of the column determines the column width. The rectangle tool makes rectangles or squares. and the ellipse tool, ellipses or circles. There is a library of set shapes to choose from in the next set. and the freehand fill tool to create freehand shapes. The angle tool will add angles to a shape.
and the hole tool will add holes, remove holes and fill holes. The real beauty of these closed shape tools is that they can be a fill or an outline. To demonstrate, I'll duplicate these objects and make the second object an outline. Thank you for watching. Visit our website for more information.